I've got a graph that's tangent. It's got everything. It's the whole tangelata. <laughs> but first we need a game plan. A game plan. This is the game plan for graphing tangents and cotangents. Oh boy. What are we going to do? We're going to flip it. We're going to sketch it. We're going to label it. Is that how I spell label or is it E-L? I don't know, I made that mistake in all of these videos. So then we're gonna move it, move it. Four step process. Let's talk about the parts. I'm looking at a function of the form f of x is equal to a tangent bx plus c plus k. Okay, so then down here, the not amplitude, because tangent doesn't have an amplitude, this is gonna be where um, your special points lie. My PS, my phase shift, happens last. That's minus C over B, and then I'm going to have a vertical shift of K. What are we talking about? When we flip it, sketch it, label it, move it, we are flipping, sketching, labeling, and moving these guys. My tangent has the basic form of this. Half my period is there, and half my period's there. All right, that's why when I sketch it, yeah, it comes from the bottom, now it's here. I use half my period there because half is to the left and half is to the right and half is to the left. That's half my period. That's a quarter of my period. That happens at that special point where the not amplitude lies. And then minus P over 4. And that happens where the minus amplitude lies. And the basic shape for this guy... Over here, the cotangent, the cotangent is all on the right side. Well, of course it repeats, it repeats, it repeats, because it's periodic. And periodically, I graph the cotangent by hand. Man, it's all on the right of the x-axis when it's not shifted. And I graph it, dot, 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 I shift it, I label it P, out here the period, half the period, a quarter of the period, and three-fourths of the period. Let's get to some examples. Now that we have that game plan, let's go get the characteristics. Ready, 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 ready. Uh -huh. Here I see the number in front, my A. A. Da -da, da -da. My not my amplitude is two. And then what do I need? I need my phase shift. My phase shift. That's um, minus C over B. That's going to be a minus pi over 2 over my B, which is 1. So my phase shift, I'm going to move it to the left, to the left. Pi over 2 units. Does this have a vertical shift? It does. It does have a vertical shift. And that's going to be up 1. But wait, I almost forgot periodically do the period 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 that's the usual period of the cotangent pi over b but my b gonna be one so this is pi over one could you see that up there let's go here because i'm gonna graph that guy on this graph right here see so then i graph my cotangent that 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 Again, two videos in a row. My asymptote isn't over there. It's right here. I flip it, sketch it, sketch it, sketch it, label it, move it. I don't need to flip it, so I can sketch it. Bam! My normal cotangent, it goes like this. And then I label it. This is the period out there. The period is, um, huh, there. Pi, half pi, quarter pi, one pi over four, two pi's over four, three pi's over four. And then I need to move it, move it. I like the way you move it, move it. I'm gonna take all of these special points, this one, this one, this one, and my asymptotes, and I'm going to move it first. I'm going to do my phase shift pi over 2. So I move this pi over 2. It's here. 
and I move this asymptote over pi over 2. There's pi over 4. Here's Oh, I knew that one was going to come in handy. All right. And then I move this special point over pi over 2. And I move this special point over pi over 2. And I move this special point over pi over 2. I think I neglected to label my axis. Ooh, this one. 2. This one. Two. That's where my most bendis spot comes from. So now that I've moved that guy right here, let's take, take care of that vertical shift. I'm going to move all my special stuff up. I'm going to move my asymptote up one. It doesn't move. I move this asymptote up one. I guess it moves, it just doesn't look like it. And then I'm going to move this one up one. So now that one's at three. I move this one up one. That one's at one. I move this one up one. That one's at minus one. And then... My asymptotes are here. My asymptotes are here. Um... Oh, come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. Let's get some. Oh, there you go. There you go. Get my asymptotes in there. Asymptotes in there. Trying to get rid of all my construction marks. So that I can get a better idea about my final product. Yeah. Add a little blue. You're my boy, blue. But then when I put it over the yellow, I'm like, you're my boy, Green. So I took my original one and I shifted it pi over 2 to the left, and then I shifted it up 1, and then this green graph means, you know, uh, box and flower, which is really a polar rose.